Okay, it's uh, just half five, Tuesday the 19th of May. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to release, I'm just going to go over the mathematics paper two. And in this section I'll do questions one to seven. And I'll do eight to fourteen in a couple of minutes. Okay, question one, this is the calculator paper. House is valued, this is question one, house is valued at 240,000. Its value is predicted to rise by 2.8% per year per annum. Calculate its predicted value after two years. Okay, uh, done a few of these, but to add 2.8%, uh, you think of 100 and you add 2.8, 102.8, and then you bring the point back there. That's a quick way to do it. Um, and it's over two years, so it's to the power of two. So you take your 240,000 times it by 1.028 uh, squared and you get £253,628.16p. and No rounding off issues here, so that's just what I'm going to leave it as. Question 2. A function is defined by a function called f, uh, given in terms of x, is 3x add 2. Given that f of a is 23, calculate a. OK, well, if f of x is 3x add 2, then f of a, replacing x with a, is 3a add 2, and they tell you that that's equal to 23. 3a would therefore have to be 21, 21 add 2 giving 23, so a is 7. On to question 3. Question 3, uh, to be honest, a very, very straightforward cosine rule question. Two sides, angle in between, and they want the length of A, B. Okay. So, cosine rule, uh, you look it up in the formula list if you can remember. Uh, A, B squared is 1.2 squared plus 1.35 squared minus 2 times 1.2 times 1.35 times cos, the angle in between. 35, plug that all in your calculator and uh, out pop 0 0.608. Uh, to get AB, you take the square root and you get 0 0.78. I'm pretty sure I rounded that off. Uh, and there we go there, 0 0.78. Let's move on to question 4. Getting the magnitude or uh, length of a vector. To get the length of a vector, you take each term, you square them, then you add them and then you root your final answer. So a, the length of u is written like that. It's the square root of 6 squared plus minus 13 squared plus 18 squared. Again, this is nothing for your calculator. Square root of 529 gives you 23. Question 5. A couple of vectors for you to deal with here. Question 5. The vectors P and Q are shown in the diagram below. Find the resultant vector of what happens when you add vector P and Q. Give your answer in component or a kind of number in a column form. Okay, let's have a look. What does vector P do? It takes you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 back and 3 up. So vector P is minus 5, 5 back, 3 up. What does vector Q do? Let's have a look at that. It takes you this way. It takes you 1, 2, 3, 4 along and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down. 4 along, 5 down is 4 minus 5. You have to add them, so there's me just written them in column form. Minus 5 add 4 is minus 1. 3 add minus 5, minus 2. So minus 1, minus 2 is your final answer there. On to number six. Okay, uh, center it for you. Six A. The Earth is approximately spherical with a radius of six thousand four hundred kilometers. Calculate the volume of the Earth, given your answer in scientific notation, and correct it to two significant figures. Okay, volume of a sphere four thirds pi r cubed from your formula sheet. Plugging in the numbers, 4 thirds times pi times 6,400 cubed. Uh, my calculator gave it in standard form anyway, so that wasn't a problem. 
and the only issue I had was rounding this to um, two significant figures. There's your first. The next one off back is automatically your second. That 9 makes that a 1. You add 1 to it. So it's 1.1. These all go times 10 to the power of 12. 1.1 times 10, 10 to the power of 12 cubic kilometres. And that's it to two significant figures. Question B. They give you the volume of the moon. 2.2 times 10 to the power of 10 cubic kilometres. Calculate how many times the Earth's volume is greater than the Moon's. This is, uh, of course, a division. There's the calculation we just did. 1.1 times 10 to the 12. Divide it by what they give you as the volume of the Moon. 2.2 times 10 to the 10. And you get 50. So that's number 6. Okay, number 7 is the last one I'm doing in this little segment. Here we go here. It's a division uh, using algebraic terms. 5t over s divided by t over 2s squared. Well, what you do with algebra is exactly what you do with numbers. Uh, you would leave that 5t over s, and there's just the sum there. And to work it out, you would change the division to a times, and you would put the second one on its head. Turn it upside down. Okay. Uh, and you get 2s squared over t. Now I've kind of like laboured this a little bit. 5 times 2 gives 10 ts squared. Okay, and uh, down at the bottom you've got s times t. Okay, uh, t's cancel and that s cancels out with one of the s's up there. s squared is just s times s. So you actually end up with just 10s.